Steal the air hose! Steal the air hose! <laughs> Welcome back to Drillers Garage. Today I'm back on the 997, the GT3, the Red Rocket. Got to get that, that exhaust swapped out and put for sale. Stay tuned. So like I said, that exhaust needs to get swapped out. Um, I'm thinking, originally I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll just try to do it, you know, without taking the bumper off. I'll take the rear tires off. That way I can get the mufflers up inside of there. But you know what? Taking that bumper off is not really that big of a deal. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and uh, and get that, muffler, that, that bumper off. It'll just be easier. That way I can put the side mufflers on instead of having to maneuver them you know from underneath there like you know it, uh, it's just easier take the muffler off i mean the mufflers the bumper although i hate looking at the car without the bumper on um but that's what i have to do i went up on the shelf and brought down the original parts headers mufflers brackets gaskets and that's it uh, i already took the, the tail lights out i took these four screws out now I need to put the car up in the air. I need to get the screw here and the screw here, uh, the little bracket down there. And the bumper should almost pretty much be ready to be extracted. <laughs> So now I have clear and unobstructed access to put the mufflers on. It's going to make it so much easier. Uh, taking that bumper off wasn't that hard, but uh, putting it, putting the exhaust back together, it's just going to be that much easier now with all that stuff out of the way. It's a lot of crap, man. Look at that stuff. That and the bumper and everything. A lot of stuff. Well, got the headers out, got the side uh, side deletes out. Everything from here is good to go. Got to put the brackets on, got to put the side mufflers on, the headers, and the installation is the opposite of uh, removal, right? Reverse, install in reverse of uninstall. 
I got the passenger side header on and the muffler bracket. There's a bolt for the bracket that's all the way up there, which you can't even see. I don't know if see with the flashlight. I don't know if you can even see it. It's kind of a pain to get to, but whatever, I got it. So I need to swap out the upstream O2 sensor and just continue on. And then basically slap the side muffler on, plug it up into the center muffler, and this side is almost done. So the passenger side is complete. It's done, all hooked up. The only thing I have left to do is hook up the vacuum line to the actuator here. And that's it, it's done. Now, it's time for the driver's side. Fortunately, it went pretty smooth. Uh, no hangups really. Uh, that bracket here for the muffler, that bolt up top there was kind of a pain in the butt. The muffler bolts up here, kind of a pain, but no big deal. Muffler on, that's a heavy, heavy beast right there. I, that's why everybody takes them off. It's heavy, a lot of weight in the wrong end of the car. Whew, okay, this side is done. Man, oh man, did this one give me a fight. It really did. It didn't want to line up. The bolts here didn't want to line up. It just, it just did not want to go. So that's that, but it's in, it's done. I got the O2 sensors hooked up, everything is done. Uh, the next step is gonna be to I got to put the, those side covers on and start assembling the bumper. That's it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I already connected this one. I need to connect this one right here. And that's it for the bottom. I uh, can't think of anything else that uh, I need to do down here. Uh, everything is tight. All the bolts. Everything is tight. Everything is good. Whew. That wore me out. Side covers on, making progress. So much weight back there. I mean, is that really necessary? You know, I mean, I guess it houses the, uh, the, heat, the heat shields, but the reality is like, if you do a side muffler delete, what do you need this for? All right. Finished. Now I gotta crank it up and hit that sport button and see what happens with the uh, with the little actuator valve over there. I haven't had that thing hooked up in years. See what happens. And of course, we have this one ready to attack the air hose. Ah! No, 
So that's gonna wrap it up on the exhaust video for the 997. Uh, as you can hear, it's nice and quiet. Yeah. And then if I hit the sport button over here, uh, let's see, sport. It gets loud again. So all is working the way it's supposed to. And uh, it's good. The driver's side gave me a little bit of a headache. The passenger side was pretty smooth, but anyway, it's done. I'm gonna take those stickers off the window there. I'm gonna clean it up. I'll start to get some pictures of it and put it for sale. I'll probably post it on eBay. Uh, I think that's probably when it's gonna get the most exposure. And let's see what happens. Uh, it's gonna be a sad day when that car goes, but uh, you know, somebody else will get to enjoy it. And I had my fun with it. Now it's somebody else's turn. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the uh, exhaust swap. A few people had asked me to do before and after comparisons and all that, but it was too late. I already had done it. Uh, or I had the car on the lift and I don't want to start the engine and then take the exhaust off with the engine hot because, you know, aluminum expands. You're taking out a steel bolt and uh, nothing good is going to come of that. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe. Please like. Leave me any comments, as always. Uh, thanks for watching.